It's a quiet, dark campus. But underground, it's a much different story. Manya has a full day ahead of her. Morning, morning. She's the executive pastry chef that bakes for 38 on-campus eateries each day. To make this happen, the bakery runs almost 24 hours every day. There's a lot of people in the production kitchen and the bakery who are actually working overnight. Chef Manya is going on her 10th year working at the Union. She helps oversee meals from breakfast to dinner and of course her favorite, dessert. Uh, it's made with butter and sour cream. So very fattening, <laughs> but it's so delicious. Sometimes people just come from the kitchen, from the salad room, and they're like, what did he just pull out of the oven? Just because of the smells we have going on. So that's always nice. The kitchen is home to 85 chefs and bakers. There is a lot of diverse talent. We've got uh, Manya, of course, she's from East Germany. Uh, we've got Peter from Edinburgh, Scotland. Uh, there's a few Hispanics here from south of the border. Uh, myself, I was born in Russia. We provide everything for, for the U of A, you know, from A to Z. We develop new menus, we taste and test items continuously. We do all the production, whether it's breads and bagels or cakes and torts and tarts and eclairs. Appealing to different taste buds is a challenge. I came from a private country club in Wisconsin, uh, 450 members, and coming to this place where I got to feed 25,000 people a day is quite a difference. It's just the knowing that I'm feeding that many people is kind of exciting. Good morning. Senior executive Very chef good. Michael Obo leads the student union kitchen. Yearly, it's a four million dollar operation. And like many of his colleagues, his work comes down to this. Food always goes along with situations. So if you ever think of any of the big situations you, have, you were in or celebrations, food is always a part of that. So food is a celebration of, of itself, and we need to bring that back a little bit. 